New at five, reaction to a federal court judge ruling that DACA is illegal. That program gives temporary citizenship to hundreds of thousands of young immigrants, many of who reside right here in the Central Valley. Our Esteban Reynoso live at Fresno State tonight. Esteban, the high court's ruling impacts hundreds of dreamers, many of them looking to become the first in their family to graduate college. Well, Stephanie and Alex, on, it really does. It's a ruling that affects hundreds of thousands of people across the nation. And today we were able to speak with a Fresno State student here who is undocumented. Now, he doesn't benefit from the DACA program, but has a lot of classmates that do. And now he fears with this ruling that their future could be in jeopardy. Richard Puerta was brought to the U.S. as a toddler. And so I was brought here at a young age, but uh, sadly I was brought here without any documentation, uh, not even a birth certificate. His mother died when he was two and he came to the Central Valley and now calls it home. The majority of my life, which has been um, 21 years as of right now, I've been here. And ever since I was uh, two years old, I've never been back to Mexico. He's in his final year at Fresno State. Although he is not a part of DACA, he's concerned for his classmates who are impacted by the ruling of a federal judge. Because I have heard so many from so many other immigrants, and like even though we share the same problem of not being documented, we may be completely different in how we got here and just how we grew up. Uh, it's going to go to appeal, and it's going to go all the way to the Supreme Court. So this is going to take still several years to be decided. Dr. Jesus Martinez is the executive director for the Central Valley Immigrant Integration Collaborative, or CIVIC for short. He says the ruling is a punch to the gut of the community. It creates a great deal of confusion. It creates a great deal of mistrust among uh, immigrants for the U.S. Uh, political and legal system. Dr. Martinez says the answer is immigration reform, something that hasn't happened for nearly 40 years. Since we have had no immigration reform since 1986, that has created a situation in which millions of people who are already in the United States, who are long-term residents, who have children, who have families, who have purchased homes or done other types of significant contributions to our society, to our economy. Now, an important note is that if you are currently a DACA recipient, you are still able to renew your status. As for newcomers that want to join DACA, unfortunately, there have been nobody able to sign up since 2017, back when the Trump administration had to block it or wanted to block it. Live at Fresno State, Esteban Reynoso, KC24 Local News and Matters.